Hi, this is Bill for Sparky Channel, and today uh, I'd like to show you how to find exactly where Romex cable is between studs. Say you have to do some construction work right here between these studs, but first you want to find where the electrical cable is. To do this job, I'm going to be using the Klein circuit tracer. It's called the ET450, and this is the transmitter, and this is the receiver. And the way this works in a simple explanation is the receiver once the transmitter is plugged in and connected properly the receiver is going to beep and give a larger number of signal when it finds the cable and it can find it through drywall i'm going to be finding which way this romex cable goes for instance i've just gone down vertically uh, close to where we know the stud is and I found that at level 6 the highest signal strength was 55 so that is where the Romex cable is running so I'll put a, a blue piece of tape right there to mark that and I'm going to be going all the way across and finding exactly where this Romex goes first let me show you how I hooked up the transmitter on your left there that is a three foot red cable and it plugs into the top of the transmitter and then you have a single blade and that plugs into the hot side of our receptacle on that circuit. In the middle is a 20 foot long grounding cable. You see there's a terminal up at the top that plugs into the top of the transmitter and then I'm going to choose to put the alligator clip accessory on the other end of the cable. And I'll hook that alligator clip to a cold water pipe in order to ground the tracer. The kit also gives you a grounding plug that you can use to plug into the ground of a different circuit. But if you're protected by GFCI, that's gonna blow your GFCI. So hooking with an alligator clip to a cold water pipe has been working great for me. Setting the receiver at the right sensitivity level is an important part of this task. The sensitivity on this receiver goes from one to eight. Choose a sensitivity that gives you somewhere around the middle range of a signal. If you're around the 40s or 50s and so forth, then that's good. I'll do this test on a de-energized circuit. You can also do it on an energized circuit. We found our first mark by going vertical down the drywall. So it's a logical idea to go vertical down the drywall when hunting for our second mark, which is what I'm doing right now. 48, 49, 48, 47. So we're losing signal strength right now. We're a little below where the other mark was. Let's go back up a little bit. 46, 47. That looks like the highest mark, so I'll mark it right there. Since the vertical passes are working for me, I'll do another one, a couple inches to the left, and here we go at 48. It, I'll mark it right there. After making six vertical passes, this is the pattern that I got. So you see, what's happening is the Romex is just going straight across from stud to stud, and that's pretty typical, really. And now you're ready to start your work. Here's the actual Romex run without the drywall. The studs are two by sixes, so the tracer was about three inches from the Romex. If you'd like to see more videos about this tracer, be sure to check out my video about finding an energized electrical line underneath concrete and on how to find an open neutral. I'll put links in my video description for the Klein ET450 and I'll put a link for the magnetic holding strap that fits right onto the transmitter. Thanks. I hope this video was helpful. 